All right, all right. So this time on Input Selects uh, Weekend Rental Series, we play Battle Monsters. Uh, Battle Monsters, a 2D fighter on the Sega Saturn, developed by Scarab Entertainment uh, and published by Acclaim in the US and UK. It's released in 1995, and um, you know that's that's a time when fighting games were really popular and they weren't totally standardized. And this game is definitely not quite standardized. Um, it uses 2D digitized graphics, kind of some photographs, some stop motion stuff, some drawn stuff. It's a weird hodgepodge, and it's not quite like your normal Street Fighter Mortal Kombat thing, where you're, you know, necessarily going head to head and knocking each other's stamina down. There's uh, weird platforming going on and, and some ring outs and things like that, uh, bringing some stuff in from 3D fighting games. So it's, it's a weird uh, melange of spicy fighting game stuff. So we're playing it, of course. It's October. It's the month of Halloween and it's got monsters in it. It's got a bootleg Frankenstein's monster. Um, and we thought we'd check it out. So I'm going to go around so we can talk about some game mechanics, how it plays, how it felt, what we thought on that. Um, I guess to start us off, Memo, what did you think about how this game plays? I thought it actually played surprisingly well. Um, it was pretty easy to like grasp and pick up. I think, you know, the, the platforming was kind of interesting. Um, it seemed like that there were specific moves that you could do like off the platforms, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought for, you know, a fairly old game, you know, it held up pretty well. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Um, the inputs I felt like were very easy to do for specials once I looked at the manual and like saw how to do it. They're ex easy to execute, unlike you know some old SNK games and things like that. Pretty simple. Uh, they didn't really get into all the platform specific moves in the manual, but uh, you can kind of intuit that it's a little different because you can do attacks that come down and like drop you through a platform to kind of do an air to ground type of attack. Um, but yeah, just just two really attack buttons, which is unique. Uh, just punch and kick, and then like a C button that is kind of vague in what it does, but it does it is involved in supers. I know that. Yeah, the C button is pretty ambiguous. Uh, it's like a charging button. You can do certain attacks uh, with you know um, the D pad and C. Uh, so that was kind of <laughs> that that was kind of weird but um, it didn't really take away from how it felt or anything. Yeah. How about the roster? I'm going to call on Mega Man Man. What do you think of the roster in this game? The roster, uh, there's, a pretty, there's a pretty wide variety of characters, and it didn't really feel like any of them were too bad at clones of each other. Maybe the big guys kind of had some similar moves, but really everybody kind of brought their own... Uh, their own move set into this uh, especially the twins my favorite c and p man they thought everybody thought with smash brothers with you know the, the ice twins that they're that that was like oh my god first thought this is ever two characters in one whoa this no sorry chili and pepper had it this game this game had it probably decades before super smash <laughs> almost a um, decade i think almost a decade <laughs> yeah i think we're dealing with what uh was it 12 13 characters something like that it's a pretty healthy healthy roster for a first and only game in a fighting game yeah. series 13 if you include that chili and pepper are two different <laughs> i don't think that qualifies <laughs> <laughs> or in more uh some of them uh it was kind of strange some of them could turn into monsters but only two or three of the characters could i didn't quite understand if that was a a worldly kind of deal like how mortal Kombat has demons in its universe but um yeah only only headless headless joe there and the snake lady who was already half a monster nada could 
as, as far as I could tell, turn into beast. Uh, so that was, that was pretty neat to just go go beast mode. It's just like you activated it, and it just do a string of attacks. I don't know why they decided the headless guy had to turn into a big clay man ass weirdo to do it, but it was pretty neat neat to see. Yeah, it was. Um, all right, pants problems. What did you think of this game's aesthetic? Like its its visual style, what it's putting down? Uh, zoomy and pixelated as fuck. Um, I mean it 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 does what it you know the the, the style at times thing was, which was you know detailed sprites. Uh, just as many tricks as the hardware can do with with sprites. It 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 wasn't it doesn't have like a generic feel because it's clearly like all over the place. It's just it's wild. It, it it really feels like people coming to grips with like. PC graphics packages at the time and just kind of throwing everything they can with it. So it kind of felt like an experiment at the same time, but I think it kind of worked, you know, in concert with how the game plays and, and everything around it. So it, I don't know, the the style of it definitely felt like it was an experiment, but at the same time, they kind of kind of just ran with it. It was like a graduate school project with funding. Yeah, I agree. It's it's it seems like it would be sketchy, like in terms of not filled out. But they went ahead and just took all the concepts they had and just ran with it. And, yeah. Um, they, you know, some work out, tuned. some don't. It's tuned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know about balanced, but like that's okay. It's not. It's not a competitive. It's not really a competitive fighting game. I don't think it wanted to be. Um, it should be. Should be. Kind of felt competitive. It, yeah, we made it. To me. I mean, yeah, it, we, I, it feels it talented enough. Like you could Almost have some there, yeah. some close battles. There was a lot when you guys were doing ghost versus ghost. I mean, that got that got really technical, really fast. I just I was spamming the buttons the whole time. I did not and, know. See, what and that's was. that's a good that's a good fighting game to be fair. When you can do all of that and still have fun. I'll have fun no matter what difficulty it is. <laughs> as far as being able <laughs> being able to beat somebody by doing it, that's a different. That's I mean, Street Fighter's really good at it. Mortal Kombat is. Yeah, I don't think you can really do it in Super Smash or Tekken. I've never been able to do it in Tekken. I, or uh, maybe maybe beach volleyball fighter. I think I've been able to do it in. Yeah. Well, one thing that I think should be called out in a really positive way is like I don't. I'm trying to like I'm racking my brain thinking of like when this came out and you know what came before it, but the stage design feels really really modern in a way that you didn't see at that time which is kind of strange i, I don't i don't i don't think i recall like multi-tiered levels like that for a normal fighting game and weird stage things it feels like kind of more technical than even smash brothers before smash brothers even came out really it's weird yeah let's see look, look at that back 95 right like i was i said it was pulling a little bit from 3d fighting games but like even then that's just the fact that there are ring outs. Not that like some stages yeah. have ring outs and some don't, or some have multi tiers. Yeah, it's it's definitely kind of paving new ground with that, uh, and definitely should be commended for that. Yeah, I'm curious if it's ever been referenced as that because I I obviously haven't seen anything about it, but it's the first, it's the earliest example I've seen of it. Yeah, I don't know if it was influential in what it's doing here. Like, I don't know if people saw it and were like, yeah, let's do that, or if it just like was ahead of the curve. Um, and it's probably one of those influential ones nobody wants to admit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it kind of goes with the way oh, of yeah. it, <laughs> the whole thing just feels like an experiment that had you know some backing and just went with it. I mean, a lot of these old fighters had like interesting mechanics and like ideas in them you know that it's like i kind of wish like new fighting games would like take a chance and put something weird in it like that like yeah just to like experiment and see what works but you know shit is different now <laughs> yeah can't just throw a hundred thousand dollars plus out the window or anything people would lose lose their shit if you made a fighting game where you can't pick the stage like this. <laughs> God. <Yeah. laughs> they would we played for like an hour and a half before we even saw like another stage. And we were like, what the fuck is this? Giant skull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Stage is almost um, 
almost as big of a choice as the characters, but the computer makes it for you. It's funny. Did a piss poor job too. Last, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. fucking the one, one out stage. I like that Ring stage. Out stage. That you you definitely have to know that you're on it though, and the zooming kind of messes it up. Like you should yeah. be able to see the edge of the ring at all times, but it it doesn't do that. Uh, so that's a problem. You know they're still yeah, figuring they're... It out though. <laughs> they'll get there. <laughs> no, um, the other game I put up as a selection uh, for this weekend is by the same people, but I don't think. Oh, it's... is it? Yeah, Ooh. it's a PS1 like 3D fighter though. I don't think it's like as weird. It looks more standard. But uh, that was their next fighting game. Huh. I didn't know they were related, actually. Yeah, Scarab, I think. Um, unless they changed their name. All right, let's get down to verdicts. Um, so I've got Momo starting us off. Momo, what do you think of this fighter? I think this is a pretty cool game overall. Um, I think that this kind of generation with the digitized uh, graphics was pretty iffy at the time. Like everything was trying to rip off Mortal Kombat. This is not like Mortal Kombat. I mean, I think maybe some of the, the blood shit was, is kind of looks like Mortal Kombat, but like the way it plays is totally different. The way it looks is, is like very, like the art style is very different. Um, I don't know, this game stands out to me. There's lots of weird ass characters, lots of weird ass moves surprisingly deep um but i think the music was pretty bad and kind of made me feel sick i don't know why um the pitch stage was kind of insane a little too insane i think they should have made it like longer or something the actual place you stand um you know there's some balance issues but i think he gets a pass I don't know. I say check it out. It's pretty cool. If you like fighting games, if you like this generation of fighting games, definitely, definitely check it out. What about you, Filter? What's your thoughts? I totally agree. Um, it is of its time, but it is a stand like a standalone entry in the fighting game world compared to like I don't know, Primal Rage or Kasumi Ninja or, you know, you know, you mentioned those Mortal Kombat clones not really landing. This one's definitely striking out on its own and doing its own weird thing. It's accessible, yet very uh, singular in how it's um, making it a fighting game. You've got mash A to do combos. Like, you don't even have to dial a combo, really. You can just hit the same button. If you look at the move lists, it's, it's short. You could memorize it um, and you could fire it up and have a great time with it. Definitely, definitely would recommend checking it out um, if you're interested in games of this era. Prepare for some jank and, you know, don't bring all your conceptions about how a fighting game should work to this and expect it to fulfill that. It has some things. Hold back the block, you know, up is jump, punch and kick and then Hadouken fireball motions. That's all there, but everything else is, is very strange, and um, I love it for that. How about you, Mega Man Man? Um, what you got to say on Battle Monsters? I think it's a pretty, it's a pretty sweet game. I did, I had a, had a good time playing it. Put it, put it a little bit above average there. Uh, I think the, the characters are, they're pretty crazy. They're pretty unique. I did enjoy uh, making fun of chili and pepper quite a bit is uh even though they're they're pretty op my opinion they're just they're just like the ryu of of this game but um yeah the uh it's it's a good game for like a if you had like a rotation of fighters i don't think you you have to sink a lot of time into trying to get good at it i didn't even look at the menu like the fight list command list or anything and i just just spam those buttons away. And <laughs> C and P was they were right there behind me. Uh certainly worth certainly worth playing. Uh not worth buying for three hundred dollars at today's uh prices. But uh yeah, yeah man, it's it's a it's a good ass time. Uh pants pants problems. How are you feeling about it? Quite good. Uh you know, it it um we I feel like we've been looking at a lot of these, um kind of, you know, 
not not quite mainstream fighters, you know, uh, here and there. But this one actually, uh, it's very competent, and it definitely has some jank around it. But I feel like it does accommodate people who just want to like uh, mash buttons and have fun with it. And it also has like a level of depth to it that's that's kind of fascinating. It 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 also does a lot of really complex stuff that I I had not seen um, from older fighters really. Uh, you know, like the multi-tiered stages, the like it's, it's it's also weird enough to just kind of throw on and say like hey check this stupid shit out and you'll actually have fun with it like it's it's a cool game um i it definitely would be one of those ones like if you're you've got people sitting around and you just want to throw on something random and fun you could spend like 20 minutes with it and people would love it so i don't know i i would totally recommend this game awesome it's a consistent 4.0 uh, from the input select crew this time so yeah, battle battle monsters. Give it a burn. Give it a download, and uh, and have some fun with it.